Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Dragging a little bit after the uh, 4th of July festivities last night. A lot of fun. We burned a hell of a lot of wood off of that pile, eh? <clears throat> so, Bobby's already been down. We took a trip to the uh, lumber yard. Two sheets of half inch and uh, one sheet of three quarter inch CDX plywood there. Make a really good, uh, really good floor subsurface there over top. And we also picked up a couple more uh, two by six by eights, and I got some two by two by ten by a ten footer and an eight footer because we need to put. Well, come on inside, and I'll uh, show you. There's the Missy. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Good morning. She's got that coffee going today. So come on in and uh, what we need to do today is start to fill in some of these blocks here we need to address how wide is the shower going to be I need to put some additional blocking over here for plenty of support up at that end of the shower you can see I got a ton of support down here and then I need to fill in around the uh, the perimeter here I need to put the uh, 2x10s in there, the 10 inch wide material, because we need something for the uh, vinyl shower liner to uh, tack onto there. We also need a good uh, base for the hardy backer board, which we're going we're gonna to use before uh, tiling. So we got, uh, we got some work to do today for uh, sure. We're going we're gonna to take a day off from the plumbing. That's all capped off, good to go. Put a lot more uh, solid support. And I've uh, got to establish how wide our shower is going to be today because then all the other plumbing will align off of that and we'll be able to model and make sure we have enough room to get in the uh, door so yeah another big remodeling day in the uh, bathroom in the casa so uh, stick with the rosy girl Jan will be around too. Alright guys, one major thing I want to do is uh, remove this uh, rot in this area under the sill here. Uh, sister up some new 2x6's underneath it here. Get some good support to put some new wood down. Because we need something to be able to nail the, uh, to screw on the uh, backer board and the drywall. And um, you know, I'm not one of these people to just do the job and close it up behind the wall and say to hell with it if you're gonna do it you might as well do it the right way is my philosophy so I'm gonna clean this out real good get some new wood up and be happy that uh, all that uh, rotten wood's taken out and there's still plenty of support <coughs> for holding up the walls and everything all right all, right. all that uh, all that rotten stuff has been removed so what I want to do now is sister some wood or take some other uh, two by six by uh, random length here put it behind there so we get some good support and I'll probably take a big drill and throw a couple of a uh, couple big carriage bolts through here too just to give some really extra solid support on that side there so, see. what are you doing doing some repair work honey doing some repair work down here you see that stuff was all rotted out up there so I removed that rot now it's time to get some more good wood up there you know all about good wood I'm gonna do that right now okay okie dokie all right guys I'm underneath and you can see what I'm doing now I'm below what was that rotten area and you can see I got all good wood here and I've laid a uh, Oh, another uh, two by six on the uh, rim joist there, the uh, <coughs> on top of the sill, the uh, foundation plate there, and uh, hammered that in real good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, toe nail, actually end nail this from the end, and this thing will be super strong and supportive. Lay a little few more. I'm going to lay a random uh, piece of two by four on here because it's not really necessary to be supportive on that and we have a good clean rebuilt section up top side we just lay in some uh, two by four to finish it off and this uh, reconstruction work is done for this uh, for this rotted area okay 
Can you say happy? All right, guys. You can see we've got this all built up good. I got the uh, plate put back in place. Now all I got to do is ram this, uh, ram this baby in. And we should be in business. And I like joints good and tight, so a lot of times I end up using a maul. It gets it perfectly positioned. And I'll bring it down in a second and I'll show you how that looks in there. And that is strong and that is as good as new. And uh, you can forget about that rotten wood. And we've got great surfaces here to adhere any wall surfacing material we need. Okay. Give you a uh, close-up look down here. And you can see everything is going to be uh, well supported now on here. And, uh, and there's enough good wood in here to secure that on. And it's really nice and flush up and down. So I'd have to say that was a uh, pretty... Uh, Pretty successful rebuild on that one so I'll go ahead and secure that in and we'll move on to the next spot all right as you know we got that rebuilt over here and then I wanted to put some reinforcement over here in uh, this area I want a lot of strength over here and also underneath I didn't want this just hanging in space here even though the supporting joist is about a foot this way so I, I had enough room to work a 2x4 in. You can see part of it behind there. For a lot of good support. I still got room here to uh, to work all the plumbing. And uh, you know to put all the fittings on and all that. Get this over to about this area from here over to here for the drain. Now my girl. The next big issue. It's now come time where we have to decide how big, how wide our shower is going to be. It was originally going to be about on this plane right here, but we've now picked up, you know, we now have the ability to shoot this uh, soil stack, soil pipe for the uh, toilet over. So we want to make some measurements now. Let's pretend we move the uh, toilet so that the stacks over there then we take 13 inches off of each side to that 15 inches off of each side we need to have clear on both sides of that uh, toilet measured out the finish walls and all that so we've got some uh, work to do in terms of figuring what exactly we want to uh, do and how wide we want to have the um, shower stall and also make sure the sink's not going to interfere. So Jennifer and I are going to talk a little bit, and then uh, we'll get back to you when we figure out what we're sitting down on a job, eh? Huh? Yeah. 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 You've been out the crawling around over here. All right. Well, look, we had a good long, uh, we had a good long talk here because it's the critical part. This is where the rubber meets the road. Is we go ahead and uh, decide what the layout's going to be. Okay. We know that we've. Uh, shifted out we've taken down the old plumbing now it's a question of what's the real limiting factor in terms of designing this bathroom and it's really the way that we want to configure the toilet because when the toilet is placed you need to have 15 inches clear on each side of that that's just the code that means when we have the sh when we have the wall of the shower here there has to be 15 inches clear to the uh, you have to mark off 15 inches from the center of the toilet line going off to either side so effectively that's we don't want to go outside of this uh, this corner here this looks like an ideal resting spot to sort of secure some of the uh, ABS plumbing here some of the plastic to that corner and have the toilet come up there and it's got to be 12 inches uh, the rough the rough end has to be 12 inches from the uh, from the finished wall or uh, from the you know from the rough end on the uh, flooring and stuff so it, it ends up now, when we take our measurements and stuff, we're really talking about a distance of, uh, what did we say here? 34 inches. Yeah, almost a 34 inch shower, which is a gain effectively of uh, 4 inches over what we were talking about originally. 
and it may actually come in 35 because I was very generous with allowing for wall surfaces and tiling and the backer board and all that kind of stuff so you know it's better to err on the side of being a little liberal than too conservative with well being more conservative than liberal here so being as Murphy's Law and O'Kelly's Law is sometimes in uh, force here we want to make sure that we're not screwing ourselves so we know if we start over here that we're going to have room to have the toilet there and then that uh, we blocked out to where the sink would be and uh, Jen was scooting around in her chair and we figured out yeah we got room to maneuver in here we also got room to put a uh, little cabinet a shallow cabinet there in the uh, corner and figure out some of our other storage but you know compared to accessibility storage is a secondary issue right. in we this bathroom think about maybe hanging over the yeah hanging having something over the toilet and the some kind of glass you know i'm thinking of frosted glass uh like stainless steel cabinets with frosted glass on each side of the uh the mirror for a really ultra modern sort of look but today you know you see i've shored up and done a lot of bracing and a lot of cleaning up of rotten areas but I had to know where to lay down the, uh, where we're going to lay down the uh, extra material so that I can finish out the uh, shower base here. And you can see I've done some cutouts for the uh, drain. So now that we've established it's going to be about 33 and a half, 34 inches, I can go ahead and start filling in this area here, back to here. And then I'm going to be laying the plywood. We're going to be dropping our 2x4s uh, inside an in, uh, inch below the surface. We're going to be finishing with the plywood, and that's going to allow us to have our uh, our shower pretty much delineated what it's going to be. So I'm going to start getting cracking on that. Okay? We had a good talk. We figured everything out. Mama Cita is pretty happy. So, all right. Thumbs up. Smile. Yeah. Okay, guys. Good afternoon. It's getting on about two o'clock. All of the uh, all the subfloor framing has been done now, and believe me when I tell you this floor is as this could definitely support two of Napoleon's armies going across here. It is just tremendous. So what am I doing now? I'm building the inner boxes for um, you know having the uh, shower floor or the drain below floor level you can see floor level over there and this is going to be significantly below here one of the reasons I uh, it can be below is I don't overlay the subfloor with uh, the uh, three-quarter inch plywood I go ahead and I build the boxes so that they're three-quarters of an inch below the surface then I go ahead and I lay lay my pieces of plywood over top of them and what ends up happening is that they lay flush to the surface here and we have a very strong floor that's built right at uh right at subfloor level thereby giving us a uh, a uh, roll in or a floor level below below floor level draining shower now it would be a real pain in the ass to go around and mark every three quarters of an inch down to try to secure the uh, cleats on the side to hold up the uh, plywood panels. So what I do is I go ahead and I cut a piece of the three quarter inch plywood, a thin strip, and I use that as what they call a jig for setting my height all the way around here and it works great and it saves a hell of a lot of time as I go ahead and build these boxes. Jennifer and I took a lot of time today to measure out and this is basically going to be close to the end point of the wall over here so we're going to sheet this all over with the um, plywood the sub-level plywood here and we'll be building our uh, shower inside of that and also putting up our uh, outer shower wall here okay so very it doesn't look like a lot today but uh, this is really important stuff that's being done now and it's important that it be done right all right guys what is it honey getting on about four four o'clock or so Ooh, i'm kind of beat you can see i got a lot of the little boxes the inset boxes built here they don't yeah, 335. So we've got one more, uh, one more box to build there. 
difference between making and then, uh, and losing you know, everything. It's a simple matter in the future of just cutting the uh, cutting the inserts to drop down and everything's all good. So yeah, it's been a been a productive day. You got your shower? Huh? You're happy? Okay, had to die late, so you got your shower. So. All right. See you in a while. All right, guys, about to wrap it up. Uh, Saturday afternoon. It's been another productive, and it's one of those days again. It doesn't look like you did a lot of stuff, but all the uh, boxes are now built for uh, the uh, sub-level floor. Um, you know, it's all going to be flat to the uh, flat to the ground there, as opposed to putting up a three-quarter inch sheet of plywood and then building up the surface on top of that. That's going to have the uh, plywood panels drop down inside there and secure down real good. Going to do the uh, rough plumbing connection. Going to do the uh, setup for the um, for the toilet stack to get that moved over. So it's going to be another trip down to the uh, depot tomorrow morning. I think we're basically done. You know, if I have some time tomorrow, I'm going to go around and put the blocking on the side for the vinyl. Uh, you know, for the vinyl, the uh, liner, the shower liner that's got to eventually go in. And then getting a better idea, I guess the uh, wall actually will be coming right down here, which is fine. So we're not going to need a lot of replacement subfloor here, uh, the old style stuff, to go over. So that's the good news. And this stuff is so thick, we only need to overlay it with the uh, hardy backer board. We don't even need uh, plywood on top of this. We just hit that with the... Uh, half inch hardy backer board and tiles maybe even quarter inch hardy backer board because this you saw how thick that stuff is inch and three quarter uh, stuff there's no shifting no movement at all the other good thing today all the uh, rotten wood was replaced here this was all underbuilt under there you really can't see it from right here but everything is super strong we got that uh, pier right below me here you can see right there Everything's resting on that and on the side. This thing ain't gone anywhere. So I'm going to call it a good day today. Tomorrow I need to uh, drill out a little bit, drill into this center, get some more of that rotten wood out of there, vacuum it out real good, and then put a leveler in there uh, specifically made for wood. We'll get that uh, topped up, and that'll be good and stable. And, um, you know, maybe do some plumbing connection too. So another good day here and I want to thank you for being along as we uh, did more of the uh, flooring oops more of the flooring work today